All right, everyone. Uh, welcome to Wisma Technologies. Uh, I'm going to quickly demonstrate on a simple concept, and but very powerful. And it will be one of the most commonly interesting and trickiest uh, way to answer in most of the interview scenarios. The question goes like this. How a DBA or any new DBA joined new organization or new project once he get access to the server, how he can identify whether he has connected to React database or whether it's a standalone database, right? So once we connect to a React cluster, how DBA can identify whether database is configured as a rack or standalone? There are various methods to identify that one. The few of them are I listed out here, not limited to only these five methods here. There are other methods also you can be familiar with whatever you like and whatever you are familiar and easy way to identify. The very first thing is right now here, uh, let's say I'll just clear my screen on my lab here. All right, so I have this node one PS-EF grep S1. Very first thing, when I log into this server, I'll just run this PS-EF grep S1 and 90 or 95 percent in industry any database rack database ends with this a prefix one two three that's an instance wise and node wise so we have this dev db instance one this prefix and this is a host node one similarly i can go to second node and then i'll do psfnf grep smon psfnf grep smon it's going to tell me a dev db instance two. So that is kind of your node one and node two cluster nodes. So by just running this PSFNF grep, I can assume your dev db database might be a rack database. Or the other way is like I can set my endowment to plus ASM one and I simply do OLS nodes. That OLS nodes will tell me, okay, node one and node two. Okay, this is the rack cluster and Host node one is the one of the rack node and host node two is the one of the other rack node. I can quickly connect to one of the rack node, host node one, I'll do PS F grep S1. That will tell me a dev db and instance one. I can assume that dev db is a rack database and instance one is running on this node one. And I can quickly go to second node. I'll run the same command PS F grep S1. And the moment I found out, my dev db instance to then I can 99% 100% I can confirm okay dev db is a rack database running instance one on node one instance two on node two fair enough that's the first quick method you can validate it and the second method using sructl command and I can do set the environment to dev db instance one on node one or you can do it on node two also dot or env dev db instance one dev db instance one env grep capital vara all the endowment variables are set to dev db instance one i can quickly run sructl config database for my dev db database sructl config database at dev db so this config command sructl config database is going to tell me what type of a database it is a rack database and what are the instances dev db1 and dev db2 running under node one and node two. Then it concludes 100% this dev database is the rack database. Or I can run this SRCTL config database, SRCTL status database dev db, which is going to tell me dev db instance one, dev db instance two, running, running on node one and node two. Then it's going to 100, double 100% confirm dev db database is a rack database. And then other way to identify this, this SRCTL command, you can run it on any of the cluster node, node one and node two, it's gonna give you, give you the same result. So I can quickly show it on the other node. Here, dot or env, DVDB instance two, env, grep capital ora. Right, if I do this one, SRCTL config database, SRCTL config database again same thing type is rack my instance one and instance two are running under node one and node two and SRCTL status database dev db1 dev db2 running on node one and running on node two fair enough and other way to validate is quickly connect to your instance whichever instance or whichever node you connected I'll go to node one 
from there I can use SQL plus slash this DBA. I can do show parameter cluster underscore database. Show parameter cluster underscore database, which is cluster database equal to true, meaning this is a rag database. Whether you configured instance one only, instance two only, you configured instance one, two, doesn't matter. This is the ideal way, 100% genuine or uh, perfect way to validate whether it's a rag database or not. Use this show parameter cluster database equal to true or not. In some cases, what we do, even though it's a rag database, we never configured your instance two. We configured only instance one. And if I do PSA if you have grep S1, it's going to give me David DB instance one. And if I go to second node, if I do PSA if you have grep S1, it's not going to tell me that second instance. And then when I do SRC till config, it's going to say type is rag, but it's going to tell you only one instance. We configured only one instance. Second instance we are not configured. So it doesn't mean that it's not a rag database. So it's a rag database, but we configured only one instance. But once we log into database and do this show parameter cluster and score database, if it's a true, it means it's a rag database. It's a hundred percent confirmed rag database, but it's left to you whether you configured multiple instances or not. Right. So other way to validate your rag database is using a GV dollar views. Like one is with GV dollar instance and other one is GV dollar database. So I can select this. Instance name, DBID, DB name. So it says instance one and two. We tell the two instances for the same DBID. So it means it's a rag database. And we have GV dollar instance. So it has instance one, instance two, dev db one, dev db two configured running on node one and node two. Again, it won't tell me it's a rag database. And then we have one more option, cluster command, CRCTL command. Like I can do a logout, I'll set the environment to ASM plus ASM one. My environment variables are set to ASM here. I can do CRCTL stat resource hyphen T. And here I'm looking for my David DB. David DB is online running on node one and node two status is open. So that indicates it's a rag database running under two nodes. And even I can go to second node, I can run the same command. Plus ASM2 ENV grep capital or So I can do CRCTL stat resource hyphen T. That will tell me my David DB. Instance one, instance two, both are online, and node one and node two both are in open state. So that that's the other way to confirm your rag database. Again, this is just a few methods I wanted to highlight, but apart from that, there are so many other ways also. You can identify using alert log, trace files, and so many other stuffs. But yeah, just to keep it simple, there are multiple ways to identify whether the database is a rag or not. All right, that's it for today's session. Let's connect on our next session with the few more interesting topics. Thank you guys.